Today we're going to do a really fun one. We're going to make some homemade flour tortillas. And here are the ingredients that we need. Three cups of all-purpose flour. One cup of warm water. A third of a cup of vegetable oil. One teaspoon of baking powder. And our last ingredient, one teaspoon of salt. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. To make this recipe really simple, I measured my flour directly into my KitchenAid bowl. I'll just lift the bowl up, and get it ready. I've got my little bit of baking powder, we'll get that in there as well. And I'll just turn that on just to mix this around. Good. That's good. Get our salt in there as well. And then we're just going to simply add in our water. And that's just warm water. And then all of our oil. I'm using vegetable, but you can use canola oil as well. Or you could do a little bit of canola and olive oil if you wished. Whatever you like. And then I'm simply going to start the machine. And we're just going to let this start mixing. So I'm going to let this go. I'll come back when it starts forming a ball. Okay, I thought it would come back before it's actually turned into a ball. You can see that happening now. So we'll let that go for a little bit longer and then I'll come back again. So this is about a minute later and we can see that our dough has now formed the ball. And what I want to do at this point, I'm just going to leave my mixer on a low speed, number one. And I'm just going to let this go for about three minutes. I want to get this all really nicely mixed together, kneaded well. So this is about three minutes later. My dough is really well kneaded now. I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to remove it. I'll come back in one second. And then to remove it, I just grab my hands. I find this the simplest way and just kind of grab around the dough hook and pull it off. And there we have it. And your dough is going to be a little bit sticky, but that's okay. And just get it all out and just pull it out and put it onto your work surface. And there we have it, pretty clean. And then what I'm going to do, I got a little bit of flour down. And we're going to split this up. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so you can see how nice this dough is. It's very supple, very soft. You can see it's, it stretches really well. Really, really nice dough. The baking powder in here, what's it, what it's doing is it's adding a little bit of airiness to this and this is what we want. We don't want to have this dough too stiff. You can see though how nice this is when I, you know, you can see it's very, very pliable. Can you see that? Very nice dough. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to grab a bench scraper and I'll just cut that in two. And then we'll cut that one again. Okay. And we're just going to cut these into the size that you want. I'll keep going at this and I'll be back in a second. So basically what you want to do is you want to just keep dividing up your balls. So I guess we'll go with 16. They don't have to be perfect. I was going to turn the camera off but I thought I'll, I'll just keep it running. There we have it. Okay, some of them are going to be a little bit bigger than the other. It doesn't really matter. And now, I'm going to just get all these together. So I just get a little push. I'm just going to make a little bit of a circle with these because we're going to roll them out after. And if you start off with a circle, they are much more apt to stay in a circle when you roll them out. So it's just a lot easier circle to circle. So I'm going to roll all these out and then I'll come back in a second. So the little balls are all ready to go at this point and what you can do is just to start off the process you can just go around and just give them a little bit of a push just a little bit of a head start. One uh, thing that I'll say about the fat that I use which was vegetable oil you can also use vegetable shortening You'll see a lot of recipes that call for vegetable shortening. 
and you can use that as well. I do as well sometimes too. So we're just going to push these out. And then what we want to do is we want to let these rest because of the action of the mixer, it started building up the glutens in the dough. And if we try to start rolling these out right now, what's going to happen is the dough is going to expand first when we roll it and then it's going to try to contract a little bit. So at this point, we're just going to let these rest for about 15 minutes and then we're going to start making the actual tortillas. We're going to start frying them in our pan. And then I'm just going to cover these with a tea towel and I'll come back in a little while and then we're going to finish off the recipe. So I've just set up my frying pan. I've got a medium heat going here. My fry pan is nice and hot. We'll grab one of our little doughs. Just cover it in a little bit of flour. Grab the rolling pin. And there's no rule. You can roll as much or as little as you want. You don't want to have them too thick. And you can see how nice this dough is. Really nice. So there we have it. And then I'm just going to take it and put it right on there. Just like that. Just let that go. So we're going to want to do this about one minute on the first side. Then we're going to flip it for about 30 seconds and then we'll take it off. You can see now we're getting some nice little air pockets here. Which is telling us that there's a lot of heat being introduced from the bottom. And you can check it to make sure that it's not burning and that looks good. Just let it go a little longer. On the bottom you want to have a few brown spots but you don't want it completely done. And that looks good, I think, just like that. We'll flip it. So you want to have, see the little spots? Something just like that. We don't want to dry out the tortilla too much. Now we're going to go about 30 seconds on here. So this is almost 30 seconds. A little bit more. You can push it down if you want more surface touching the fry pan. But that's good. I'll flip it over and just show you what it looks like. And that there is perfect, just like that. And that is very hot. <laughs> so I'll put that off to the side. So for this recipe, I'll do one more. A little bit of flour on there. And when these completely cool, you want to store them in something airtight, like a big Ziploc baggie or some kind of container so that they don't dry out. Good. And then right onto our fry pan. And we'll let that go for about a minute. So there we have about a minute. I'm just going to check a little bit longer. So that was a few more seconds. And we'll just flip it over. You can see all the nice little brown spots. And now we'll let that go for about 30 seconds. So I've got a number left to do. So I will do all of them. They're all over on the side here. I'm going to do all of those and then I'll come back and I will show you all of them done. So this is about six inches in diameter. If you want something a little bit bigger then you're only going to do 12 dough balls. We'll check that. And that looks good just like that and we'll take that off. So I'm going to do the rest of those and then I'll come back. So this is about 15 minutes later and I have done all of my really nice flour tortillas. If you want to make these a little bit larger, only make 12 dough balls out of the recipe. You can see how nice these are on both sides. Nice and pliable. Keep them in a airtight bag or container for about two days maximum. So that's it for this really fast video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. That's it and I'll see you next time.